The Gospel of Food, Everything You Think You Know About Food Is Wrong, by Barry Glasner is a thought-provoking exploration of the complex and often misleading world of food culture and dietary trends. In this book, Glasner challenges widely held beliefs about food, nutrition, and health, shedding light on the influence of media, advertising, and societal norms in shaping our eating habits. This analysis will delve into the key themes and arguments presented in the book. Glasner's central premise revolves around the idea that many of our commonly accepted beliefs about food are founded on myths, misconceptions, and deliberate misinformation. He argues that the food industry, aided by the media and popular culture, has created a culture of fear and anxiety around eating, causing people to obsess over food choices and diets. The author highlights that this obsession is not only unnecessary but also harmful, as it leads to stress and unrealistic expectations. The book explores various myths and misconceptions associated with food and diet. One of the most significant myths Glasner addresses is the idea that fat is the ultimate enemy. He argues that the demonization of fat has resulted in a proliferation of low-fat and fat-free products that often contain high levels of sugar and other unhealthy additives. Glasner also delves into the role of the media and marketing in perpetuating these myths, highlighting how sensationalized headlines and misleading advertisements contribute to public confusion and fear. Glasner further discusses the influence of dietary trends, fads, and the food police in shaping people's eating habits. He points out that society has a propensity to follow the latest dieting craze, be it the low-carb Atkins diet or the gluten-free movement, without critically evaluating their effectiveness or necessity. Glasner emphasizes that such trends often lack scientific backing and can lead to unnecessary restrictions, anxiety, and even disordered eating. The book also addresses the cultural and social dimensions of food, highlighting how class and privilege play a significant role in determining food choices and attitudes. Glasner argues that the emphasis on organic, locally sourced, and artisanal foods has created a divide in society, with those who can afford these options being seen as more virtuous or health-conscious. This, he contends, perpetuates inequalities and adds to the stress and anxiety around food. Glasner's approach in The Gospel of Food is to encourage readers to adopt a more balanced and rational perspective on eating. He advocates for a more moderate approach to food, suggesting that people should enjoy a wide variety of foods and not be overly restrictive in their choices. He also stresses the importance of critical thinking and skepticism when evaluating food-related information and trends, as well as the need to question the vested interests of the food industry. One of the book's strengths is its use of real-life examples and anecdotes to illustrate its points. Glasner shares numerous case studies and stories from individuals who have been affected by the food myths and anxieties he discusses. These personal accounts add a human touch to the book and make it relatable to a broad audience. While The Gospel of Food offers a refreshing perspective on food and nutrition, it is not without its criticisms. Some may argue that Glasner downplays the significance of certain dietary guidelines that have a strong scientific basis, such as the importance of consuming fruits and vegetables, or the risks associated with excessive sugar consumption. Critics might also contend that his emphasis on moderation may be interpreted as an excuse for unhealthy eating habits. In conclusion, The Gospel of Food, Everything You Think You Know About Food Is Wrong, by Barry Glasner provides an insightful and critical examination of the myths and misconceptions surrounding food and nutrition. Glasner encourages readers to adopt a more rational and balanced approach to eating, free from the anxieties and obsessions perpetuated by the food industry and media.
The book is a valuable resource for those looking to navigate the complex and often contradictory world of food culture and dietary trends, urging individuals to think critically and make informed choices about what they eat.